Hey, how you doing, everyone? Kennedy Heat here. This is something I wanted to show you guys. You can pick up at your local town hall, probably. It's an Atlantic Basin hurricane tracking chart, National Weather Service. And what I had done was, is I had taken some of the areas and I had shaded them. You'll see the fluorescent area on the eastern seaboard is really what I'm concerned about you know when it comes to hurricanes right along this area here and you'll notice that you know in that area you'll see that you know a lot of the storms here they normally travel around you know the Caribbean all around here occasionally they do get stuck up and they they head out across the um, eastern seaboard and then usually lose strength as they go up to uh, Canada. Well, what's happening, especially with uh, Hurricane Sandy or Frankenstorm, the uh, storm had come up, then it had hit right up along, nailed New Jersey, and then kind of turned inland. And from what I've been told by a lot of different, you know, people or heard, I should say, from a lot of meteorologists, is that's the pattern of the storms now. They're going to be the kind that uh, just turn right in inland and. As you can see, you got New York City there, you got New Jersey, Philadelphia, as well as the New England states with, you know, heavy cities which probably are not used to dealing with hurricanes. You know, if you have one maybe on the Florida Panhandle, it's a little easier to deal with for them than, say, a larger city as you saw, you know, in New York City how it was. but. You know, these uh, hurricane tracking charts are kind of kind of neat. You can get them, you know, right from the FEMA website. And FEMA always has good ideas as far as, you know, planning for such storms. You know, the FEMA guidelines are pretty pretty good, just, just for any household to just follow. But, you know, I figured I'd make this video up for you just so you could see that, you know, I'm not so concerned about what happens out here. I'm really concerned about what happens right over here in the eastern seaboard because obviously that's that's where I live, but also, you know, these areas here, hurricanes seem to hug the coastal areas here and just move straight up. So, I mean, you could be affected by something out by Bermuda as well as, you know, you know, down by, say, the coast of Maine or Florida. Because these things are hugging the coast and they're ripping right up and you know, in the case of uh, Hurricane Sandy, they came right in and they turned inland. So people all the way from Ohio kind of felt the effects of that. Remember, it's just regular uh, hurricane tracking chart. You can get them right offline or, you know, possibly um, the FEMA website.